Hey guys, Kevin here with eTrailer, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the eTrailer horizontal eTrack here on our enclosed trailer. So the installation of your eTrack is fairly simple. It's really just a lot of planning ahead of time, finding out where your studs are in your trailer, making sure that you're making contact with those, that way your eTrack is properly secured. The eTrack does come in a variety of sizes. Today on ours we use the 94 inch and the 4 foot track, but you could obviously get a different size and if you need to even cut down some of it, just like we had to today, that way you can make it properly fit what you need for your application. To start our installation of the E-Track, uh, we're going to draw up some lines so that when I place it up against the wall here, I kind of know exactly where I need it. Our neighbor today wants it to be about six inches down from the trim here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and measure along our trim all the way down just do little notches probably every foot or so that way we can make sure that we're staying level with our trailer making it look nice so because this trim piece is already put up and kind of in the way from where our e-track is going to go i'm going to go ahead and just cut this one little section out that way we can have our e-track lay exactly across the wall here so i'm just going to take my multi-tool Now we have room for our e-track to slide through. So now what I ended up doing is having to trim off just a little bit of our e-track here so that it's not hitting up on our trim here in the corner. And that way I can line up my holes with my e-track going with our studs in the trailer here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just shoot a screw into one of the studs just to kind of hold this end in place. And I made sure I have it lined up with my marks that I made earlier. Okay, so actually before I went ahead and start screwing in the other bolts into our studs for our first track here, I wanted to make sure where this is going to land. That way I can make sure that this is going to hit our stud, which I'm just going to have to drill a self-tapping screw right through our metal here and not use one of the factory holes. I do want to say you don't need to be worried if you're going off of the regular holes in your e-track or if you have to shoot it through the side just as long as you're getting it into a stud that's what's important because that's what's actually going to hold this to the wall so now that i have my main uh, bolts into our stud here i'm also going by uh, going back by and just doing the ones next to it these are only going into the wood, so not really the driving force at what's holding this to the wall, but it just offers a little bit more help. If you really wanted to go the extra mile, you could go ahead and just hit every single hole too. So now that I have my self-tapping screws in my E-Track and each spot that I need them in, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing up top where I trim out some of this trim here in here and then I'm gonna have to actually go a little bit lower than what our neighbor was wanting just because their exterior light protrudes out onto our wall just a bit too much for the e-track to sit flush with the wall but we're gonna go ahead and do that and then we're gonna go to the other side of our trailer and do the same thing now that we have both of our sides done our neighbor is good to go he can load up all the tanks that he needs to inside of his enclosed trailer and use the e-tracks that we just installed to easily secure them in place well, I think that does it for our installation today of the e-trailer, e horizontal e-track here on our enclosed trailer. My name's Kevin. Thanks for watching.